12 months ago, I made a video titled my 2022 crypto mining strategy. Man, oh man, was I wrong. Over the last 12 months, I've been working with a handful of designers on a special project, and I'm excited to announce that that project is now live. Let me introduce you to a new apparel web store, hobbyistminers.store, hardware merch for enthusiasts just like you and I. Working with a few designers, we decided to launch the store with 17 unique NVIDIA Founders Edition graphics card designs. These designs are all custom made, unique, and one of a kind. What's your favorite Founders Edition? Was it the GTX 1080 Ti? Or maybe the RTX 2080? We can't forget about the RTX 3060 Ti, or how about everyone's favorite, the RTX 3070? So what's different about hobbyistminers.store? Well, every three months, these designs will be decommissioned and gone forever, making them a limited time run. But no fear, every three months, brand new designs will be released of your favorite graphics cards. To give you an idea, hobbyistminers.store has 68 designs in reserve to be released over the next 12 months. Go check out hobbyistminers.store today and their winter collection, only for sale until March 31st, then they're gone. But no fear, the spring collection is standing by. Go check it out, www.hobbyistminers.store. So back on January 13th of 2022, we dropped a video talking about my big brain ideas for 2022 and my crypto mining strategy. One of those ideas and thoughts was the fact that a bear market would occur in 2022 because we were riding along this bull market for way too long. It just didn't make sense for how long profitability had existed. In addition to not only that, let's talk about the Ethereum merge. So at that time, January 13th, the Ethereum merge was the talk of the town, but there wasn't really a date set yet. And so nobody was holding their breath at the top of 2022. It was like, all right, we're talking about the Ethereum merge again. It'll most likely happen this year, but who really knows? My mindset at that point was to really fill my bags as much as I could. In January of 2022, I was really doing well. I had a boatload of GPUs. At that point, I was about 64 GPUs. I didn't have any real ASICs at that point, except for some mini ASIC miners. And my whole goal was to hodl. I was going to go ahead and hodl as much as I could, and I had no plans of selling any crypto. In addition to that, I thought about going ahead and swapping a lot of this crypto that I was mining on the pool side for a payout in BTC. And I really liked that idea because it was the quote, safe bet, but I never really stuck to it. Looking back is probably something I probably should have done more of that I really didn't do. But what occurred and what I was totally wrong about in my video that I made back in January was something I'm calling the perfect storm. So in 2022, we kind of had this perfect storm occur and I don't think anybody could have gone ahead and foreseen it. So the Ethereum merge hit and it actually went through and we were all really surprised. I mean, I was kind of excited about it, but man, did I not know what we were gonna get into as a home crypto miner. So the Ethereum merge hits, it occurs, and we thought Flux and Ergo would really hold us over after Ethereum went to proof of stake and it wasn't mineable anymore. Well, man, oh man, look at us now. Were we wrong? They held out for a little while, but it definitely turned for the worst. Now, if things weren't bad in 2022 at that point, we then had the recession hit and inflation went through the roof. And as a home crypto miner, not only did we see the profitability of mining one of our favorite cryptocurrencies slip away from us and not really have any options available to us anymore, but then we had this huge thing called inflation occur and our electric rates went through the roof. So not only was cryptocurrency not profitable and not high anymore, but then we had electric rates massively high to go ahead and destroy our operating cost, which left us with zero to no profit margins. At that point, 
I feel like I finally experienced my first bear market and man, did it and has it sucked. Not being able to mine when we wanted to, operating costs being through the roof, profitability as a GPU miner being pretty much zero to almost negative on everything out there. And I can't blame the projects or any cryptocurrencies or algorithms out there. Nothing really changed in that side of things. It just profitability was gone. So where do we go from here? What is my game plan for 2023? Let's talk about it. All right, so we're in my crypto mining room, but guess what? There's no mining going on in here. It's actually become a storage closet for most of my GPU mining rigs. Now, I have a few odd and ends running right now, mostly little stuff that's super efficient and such. But other than that, my, my mining room has turned into a mining graveyard at this point in time. So where do we go from here? So the number one thing that I'm focusing on starting out as it's January 1st of 2023 is getting a handle on my operating cost. There is no reason and it drives me insane that the electric costs are through the roof as a residential miner. So my number one goal is to get my operating cost under control. And what does that look like? Well, I have to fight that battle with the electric companies. I gotta go ahead and look at suppliers and continue hunting until I can find something that's reasonable. 20, 30, 40 cents is just plain stupid, to be honest with you. Inflation has just gotten way too under control. So my number one objective coming into 2023 is finding an avenue to continue mining. If I can't get my electric cost under control to make it even worthwhile to break even when it comes to home crypto mining, I'm gonna have to start to look elsewhere. And I gotta go ahead and set a hard timeline in that within the first quarter of 2023. If I can't do it here at home, I gotta start to look elsewhere, but I'm not looking at hosting. What I'm looking to do is come up with alternative creative options to stay local, stay controlling my mining rigs, but find better solutions. So what do I have in mind? Well, one of the options that I have is there's actually a local farm that has a massive solar array and they approached me back about a year ago about setting up some type of crypto mining farm on their property. And at that point, I was a little uncertain. I was a little, un I was a little concerned about the liability and I could mine at home. So I really didn't need to take advantage of their situation. But look at us now in 2023, I need a place like that, which has amazing electric rates. One, they have farm electric rates. Two, they have massive solar arrays, which means their electric rates could be phenomenal. So that's one option that I'm looking into. So I gotta stay creative and I gotta stay smart and I gotta stay local. So what I've started to do is look in the area as well at different greenhouse projects that are in the area. And can I utilize their crazy farm electric rates as well as make it beneficial for them? Can I use my miners in some creative way to heat their greenhouses, but then also take full advantage of their electric rates? I don't know, maybe it sounds stupid, but we're in that stupid stage, right? and not mining is just not an option. So call me crazy, but I gotta keep the ideas flowing. I gotta come up with some creative methods to keep my farm up and running because I think we've worked too hard and I know you have as a home crypto miner and I just, I can't power down. I can't keep my head down and just ride this out. The bear market is the perfect opportunity to build my bags, to take advantage of high yields to, so that when we come into the next bull market, we're in a really good place. So I don't wanna settle. I want the ideas to continue to flow. So if you guys have some ideas, please post them down below because man, I am in the brainstorming mode right now. I'm looking to mine, but I'm not looking to mine and then just cash out to pay my operating costs and then come out with nothing. My goal is to find an avenue to mine that will allow me to build my bags. And I know it's crazy. We're all experiencing this right now. And it's absurd. This perfect storm I talked about, profitability low, operating costs through the roof. It just, it's suffocating us as home crypto miners and I hate it. So 2023, we talked about my objective is to find a better avenue to mine. 
sounds crazy, right? And maybe in next year, I'm gonna be looking back at this video and laughing at myself, but I, I wanna find an avenue to mine, whatever it is. There's gotta be something out there that's gonna work for my situation and maybe your situation. Once we do get to that point where we can mine, my strategy, what's my thoughts? What am I gonna mine? Well, I've been putting my eyes on three different cryptocurrencies that I have found have true use case and that are evident to be used in day-to-day -day life in one way or another, big or small. I don't wanna go after these spec coins anymore. I'm done with that. It, it just, it isn't worth it. I wanna focus on what I can put my time, energy, and my miners on and my money on so that looking at the next bull run, items that have true utility will be really, really profitable. So for me, I'm looking at three different cryptocurrencies. I'm looking at mining Bitcoin, because I really do think that is a staple for the future. I don't think anyone can disagree with that. I'm looking at continuing to build my bags and parallel assets on Flux. That team has gone crazy when it comes down to use case. I feel like it's every other month that they're announcing a big announcement as to how Flux is being integrated with real world purpose and solving real world problems and use case scenarios. And finally then, this one may sound silly, but it does have the ear and the eyes of not only mainstream media, but your everyday person, and that's Dogecoin. And as much as Dogecoin was, is, and may always be a meme coin, it is that meme coin that everybody knows and that we have seen been rolled out to be used in a variety of different places. And that's what I wanna take advantage of. So my eyes and my targets are on these cryptocurrencies, algorithms and such, and projects that are truly being used, even in a small way now, for practical uses that have nothing to do with cryptocurrency and it's just a payment method here or a transaction method there. That's kind of where my head's at right now. All right, so 2023, it's rough coming into 2023, I'll be honest with you. This looks nothing like my video that I did at the beginning of 2022 and we were just loving the profitability. We were loving that bull market. Man, we had no, our biggest worry was like, yeah, Ethereum merge will come, but there's no date on it. We're doing good, we're doing great. Oh man, the rest of 2022 really sucked as a home crypto miner. So 2023, here it is. What is your strategy, guys? I'd love to know. What are you guys doing? What's your game plan? I mean, yeah, we're in a bear market, but are we heads down? Are we powered off? Or are we gonna go ahead and find a creative method to, to keep powering through? Even mining with a few efficient miners, I would settle for. Well guys, that is it for today. I love your input, I love your thoughts, I love your comments. Am I being too optimistic? Leave comments down below. I'm just trying to be realistic. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye.